Hello everyone, my name is Arun. Welcome to my channel. This series is a plotting tutorials using Matplotlib in Python. Now, in the last few last two tutorials, we are looking at bar charts and especially the horizontal uh, vertical bar charts. Now, as in the continuing on with the examples that we looked at last time, okay, we noticed that if we have two bar charts, uh, two bar charts, and uh, if you try to superimpose them on each on each other, we try to uh, plot them with the same same uh, uh, values of the x-axis they tend to superimpose on each other and as a consequence one of the bar charts tend to overwrite the previously drawn bar chart okay so that this is how we get so the reason why it's the reason why it's because they all have the same mid values so one uh, one bar chart gets you know uh, how do I say superimposed on the other so the one that is at the behind it gets masked up Okay, we would sometimes that that is not what we like to have. Instead, we would like to have the bar, bar charts stacked on top of each other. Okay, and that's what we are going to do today. In this video, we are going to look at the stacked bar charts, wherein if you draw a bar chart, okay, um, that bar, then if there is no other bar chart on the on it, it will just draw as it is, and the subsequent bar chart will be superimposed on it, such that it will be placed on top of the previous existing bar chart. Okay. Now it might be a little bit confusing, but you, but it, you'll understand this in a second. So this is how the scenario is. Like I have some values following x-axis, and did some uh, tweaking so that I it get it can comes out to be nice, comes out to comes out to be neat. And then what I have here is I have some values counts one and counts two. These are some random numbers. I, I, instead of these random numbers, you can put your actual data to work with. It doesn't matter. And now if I run this plot over here. This is what I get. I get the I get the original plot, which is in bl this brownish color, chocolate color, which is actually at the back, and then the new plot gets superimposed on top of it, so the earlier existing bar chart gets wiped off, or it, it's not becoming visible anymore. To make the to make both the charts visible, what you need to do is there is this option called as bottom. There is this variable called I mean a parameter called as bottom, and then it start it has this option called as counts okay now what you do is uh, you just say that the bottom and you if you put a value like this what will happen is that the next up, up subsequent bar chart actually shifts shift instead of starting from zero it actually shifts with this particular value so for instance if I run this up over here check this out after bar chart one bar, bar chart one is done okay after bar chart one is done on top uh, on top of the bar chart one the bar corresponding the second bar uh, second bar chart actually starts uh, starts uh, you know building building up this way this way you just uh, you just actually stack one bar one bar on top of the other and proceed with this okay and as a consequence of this idea uh, consequence of this idea so if suppose i just uh, don't put the earlier earlier existing bar chart and then only plot, plot this one check what happens over here you would be surprised here what happens is that the bar itself is actually pushed up pushed up a bit thereby what actually happens is that the bars are not actually coinciding i mean they're not actually intersecting or co coinciding rather you're actually pushing the bars to a particular particular limit as per your convenience as per your convenience thereby earlier drawn plots are still there and you're uh, on top of it you're able to draw the other plots by stacking the bar, uh, 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 stacking them up by using the bottom figure, what we're actually doing is that we're actually pushing the pushing the bottommost limit of uh, of the bar, of these rectangles in these bar charts, okay? And that's how we do it. Similarly, if you have like if you similarly, um, not this one. If I so if I have two bar charts like this and run them up, there we go. The rect uh, the red and uh, the brown ones, the chocolate colored ones get plotted first, and on top of them. The other bar bar chart gets plotted on top of it. Thereby, you, there is no intersection at all. But it's just there was no intersection, no superimposition. They are just uh, you know placed nicely on top of each other. And as a consequence, you also get the bars as well. So it's it's pretty neat. And now what else you can do is you can also do some. You can also stack an another plot on top of it. Okay. Now for this uh, for this intuitively one might think counts two will do okay but this one if i do the, like this one it's going to superimpose especially in this case over here you can clearly see there's a superimposition 
what counts do gods uh, the b- bottom does is that it just actually pushes based on a particular value so if you want this particular th- the third bar chart to be on top of to be perfectly on top of bar chart number 2 you have to give, you have to set the bottom value to be counts 1 plus counts 2 so it's counts 1 plus counts 2 and now if i do the run this up check this out now the plots are perfect now the plots are perfect now the now they are perfect perfect now all the three plots are on top stacked on top of each other and they're not intersect and they're not intersecting at all and this is how we do a stack uh, stack to bar plot and in these kind of scenarios uh, in these kind of scenarios instead of having the values at the bottom i mean let me run and show you again in these kind of scenarios instead of having the values at the bottom you might in- you might like to have some labels so what i'm going to do is uh, just like what we did in the last video i'm just going to create a list a list of labels over here and then in the x six what i'm going to do is uh, in the x six i'm just going to put x six values just like uh, just like in the previous one and then i'm going to put a group value group and then there's going to put this groups list over here and give a little bit of a rotation and this way this is going to come out pretty smooth there we go now instead of the actual values i can actually the, this actually corresponds to labels so this way i can actually proceed with proceed with and pro, uh, do it without any without any problem now this is actually an example of having a stack of uh, bar chart now in the next video i'll talk about uh, horizontal bar charts and how to stack horizontal bar charts uh, as well so that that is going to comp- that is i guess that's going to complete the you know my many of the, most of the plots that are corresponding to the bar charts all right so that's all i have for you all in this video thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time on another interesting video since till then take care